Hello, friends. Today we're going to do our Bible lesson 31.4 about Zacchaeus. Now, if you think back, a few days ago we read the story Zacchaeus. We also read a book about Jesus and Zacchaeus. And then we read a story about a little girl named Avery and a little girl named Zoe. And just like Zacchaeus in our Bible truth story, Zacchaeus had a change of heart. He changed. He became a Christian and he became a new reborn person in Christ. Well, so did Zoe. Zoe changed because she got to know Jesus as well. She became a Christian and her heart changed. Today, we're going to read a story about butterflies. And the butterflies in the story are going to remind us about Jesus and about the Bible. I love this story, how it talks about how um, beautiful, beautiful butterflies can remind us of heaven. Now, um, I think you probably remember back when Mrs. Albert, Sienna's mommy, brought caterpillars into our classroom. She showed us some real live caterpillars. And something amazing happened with those caterpillars. After a little bit of time, those caterpillars built a chrysalis around themselves. Mm -hmm. And the chrysalis is kind of like a little sleeping bag. And they stayed inside that chrysalis for a while. And something happened to the caterpillar. They had a change, a big, big change. And when they came out of the chrysalis, the caterpillars had turned into butterflies. That's right. In fact, we got to take one of the butterflies outside and let it fly off. It was so exciting to see the change from the caterpillar to the butterfly. Today, I'm going to read to you a story about Zoe, and it's going to be about butterflies. What an amazing day, Zoe noticed the chrysalis shaking and twisting. Everyone gathered around to watch as a butterfly emerged from the chrysalis and spread its wings. As the painted lady butterfly flew around the house, students shared their ideas about God and butterflies. Blake explained, when the butterfly was a caterpillar, it ate leaves with its jaws. And the butterfly sips nectar. That reminds me that once we become Christians, we need food too. We need spiritual food. We need prayer and we need to read the Bible. That will help us grow. Marta continued, The caterpillar can't easily escape from things that eat it, but the butterfly can just fly away. A Christian has God's help to escape any kind of temptation when we feel like we want to do something wrong. We can fly away from that temptation with God's help. The caterpillar, Ricardo began, can only crawl. The butterfly sails up into the sky. Flying butterflies remind me that those who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Savior will go to heaven. Wow, isn't that some beautiful reminders? I love that. Now, what did the butterfly make Blake think of? He was thinking of the caterpillar's mouth and the butterflies sipping the nectar. Yep, Christians need a different kind of food. They need the Bible and they need prayer. That's going to help them grow on the inside of their hearts. What does a butterfly flying away from their enemies remind Marta of? That's right, that God will help them escape from temptation of doing wrong. God definitely will help us escape temptation. All we have to do is ask. And he's going to provide a way out for us. What do flying butterflies remind Ricardo of when he sees them flying off into the air? 
He said, that reminds me that Christians can expect to go to heaven someday. I love that thought. Wow, I hope you remember those things next time you see a butterfly. Well, today, our paper has a butterfly on it. It looks just like this. It's number 314, and it says Zacchaeus. You're going to need to write your name, because the first thing you do is always the same. The first thing you do is write your name. And then you're going to need two crayons. You need a brown crayon and an orange crayon. Those are the two colors that we're going to use today because we're going to be coloring these oval shapes brown or orange. We're going to color the oval brown if the phrase tells us how a person changed because he or she believed in Jesus. So if they change because they believe in Jesus, we're going to color that oval brown. Next, it says, color the oval orange if the phrase does not tell how a person has changed because of Jesus. All right, let me read it to you. Number one. So here's the, here's the oval with the number one on it. So we have to decide, are we going to color that oval orange or are we going to color that oval brown? It says, this person desires to read the Bible and learn about God's word. That's brown. Yes, because when you become a Christian, you definitely want to learn more about Jesus. We want to read Bible stories and read our Bible. We want to spend time in prayer so that we can learn more about God. So number one, we're going to color brown. There we go. Now let's take a look at number two. Number two says, be selfish all the time. Do you think that's a change for Jesus? No. Jesus tells us to be kind and to be loving and to have self-control. And those do not sound like being selfish. That sounds like the opposite of, <laughs> of what Jesus would do. So number two we're going to call her orange because that is not what a person would do if they changed for Jesus. Number three. Number three says, choose to do what is right. Does a Christian try to choose to do what is right? Is that a way that they might change to be more like Jesus? Yes. So number three, we're going to call her brown. Number four. Number four says, if you are a Christian, do you want to learn more about Jesus and go to church? Yes, that's one of the places you can go to learn more about Jesus. We are so blessed because we get to go to a school that teaches us about Jesus. It's a Christian school. There's also things like Awanas or Good News Club, things like that that teach us more about Jesus. And church is a wonderful place to go to learn more about God. So we definitely want to go to church. That would be a change for God right there. Number four. Number five. Number five says, they do not care if I lie as long as I get what I want. Does that sound like a change for Jesus? Ooh, I don't think so either. That one's going to be orange because that does not sound like a heart that is changed for Jesus. That sounds like someone who's thinking only about themselves. The last one, number six, says, care about others and want to share Jesus with them. Oh, that's a Christian for sure. Yes, if you are changed because you have met Jesus, you definitely want to share that because he's the best thing there is and ever. And you just can't even help it. You want as many people to know about Jesus as you can tell because oh, he's so wonderful and loving and kind and amazing. You definitely want to share that good news with other people. So that one is going to be brown right there. There we go. Ooh, look at our beautiful butterfly. <laughs> I hope that the next time you see a butterfly, 
you will think about all the ways that you can change to be more like Jesus. About getting food, spiritual food like praying and reading the Bible. About how God can help you to fly away from temptation, just like butterflies can fly. Or going up to heaven, that someday we will get to go up to heaven and fly to heaven just like butterflies can fly up. <laughs> I love that. Those are some great visual ways to think about Jesus. All right, let's go over our Bible, our Bible verse today. It's our U verse, the letter U, because unto, uh, uh, unto starts with you. So let's do Psalm 75, 1. Unto thee, O God, do we give thanks. Let's give thanks. Dear Lord, thank you for creating butterflies. Thank you for creating each one of us. Thank you for forgiving us for our sins and for loving us so much. Please keep us healthy and safe. And we thank you and praise you for all the ways that you bless us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you.